What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome to this week's Resident Battles free to play guide. So we have got Heroes and Fates as the bonus titles. And last time we were able to stay in Interval 20 without any kind of harmonized hero. And this time it seems like we might be going down. I'm not really too sure because this could change uh, at the end of the week maybe. Uh, because I'm making this video just a few hours after the map was released. So before you attempt the solution, just check in the comments uh, if we are still going down or if we're going to be staying in interval 20. Then only, you know, make your play. If we're guaranteed going down, then all you need to do is uh, go to the beginner difficulty, stall out for a few turns, let all of the thieves escape and uh, basically get your orb from the quest and demote without really doing too much effort. So that could definitely save you a lot of trouble. Uh, if you're getting demoted, then you don't really need to, you know, do the full solution really. So th that could save your time. But in case we're going to be staying in interval 20, then this solution could be helpful. And it could also be helpful to the people who are in the lower intervals and they want to go higher. So this is going to be my free to play solution. I've got Xander here. You need to make sure that you unequip his Siegfried and instead have Silver Sword. Silver Sword is his uh, four star weapon. So you just have to uh, downgrade his weapon essentially. And then you want to inherit HP plus 3 on a slot A. You could also run Triangle Adept 1 actually if you want to. So any of those things can work. And then you want to have Lunge. Lunge is extremely good in this game mode. And then you want to have Distant Defense or anything that could give him extra 6 resistance. Uh, even Speed Rest Solo could work I guess if you have that upgraded. So basically this is to make sure that he can survive Merrick. The enemy stats are on your screen right now and in the lower intervals they're going to be having less inflated stats. So you might not actually need a 2 plus 3 on your Xander. And then we have got Azura, Puddles. She needs to have Wings of Mercy 1. We cannot really use Peony here because there is Merrick. So any kind of dancer who doesn't get one shot by Merrick um, and they can prevent getting doubled by him could be useful in place of Puddles. Uh, you just need to make sure that your dancer can hit 36 speed. Here she can do that with just stance 2. Uh, and that is going to be allowing you to not get doubled by Merrick after the bonus stats. So make sure to do that. You just need Wings of Mercy 1 on interval 20. But if you're lower, then you might be taking less damage. So you might need Wings of Mercy 2. So it is up for the improvisation. Then we've got Irena Grande. Make sure to unequip her Sparkling Boost. Because she's going to be healing up Xander unnecessarily. So we don't really want that. Make sure to unequip that. And give her a cheap plus 3 Sacred Seal or like close defense. Anything that can help her survive uh, Fallen Tiki. And then you want to have uh, Hot Springs Camilla at the end. So she's going to be providing Hone Flyers buff to our air, which is going to be really helpful. But if you want to use any kind of other range unit in place of her, then you just want to make sure that they can buff up air speed uh, to make sure that she can double attack Maria. You could also run Hone Speed on slot C of Azira, Hone Speed 3 that is. Um, so that could be done if you're not going to be using Hot Springs Camilla. She's pretty good with Ouch Pouch Glimmer. You just want to make sure that you've got a range unit that could take out the green thief on the left side. And she could do that with Glimmer. Um, and you just want to have Wings of Mercy 1 on her slot B. You could do that on your range unit. And you could have Deadblow 3 to give her more oomph. And if you have a Pirate Veronica, then you could definitely use her in place of Xander. You would need to have a build like this, which I show on the side. So you want to have Distant Defense on her Sacred Seal. And attack defense solo is not really needed, honestly. If you're getting, a t like, taken out by Merrick, then you could just run a 2 plus 5, honestly. Because as you can see, my Xander doesn't really pack a punch. So you don't really need very high attack on your Pirate Veronica. Um, even without using your harmonic skill, I think you should be able to survive Merrick uh, in that turn where my Xander can survive him. So Pirate Veronica could be used in place of Xander, and that should work out. She, in fact, has just much better attack and much better bulk, so it's going to be even easier. If you do have her. And with that said, let us begin with our solution. Alright, so you want to start off by attacking Maria. As I said, doubling her is extremely important. So make sure Air has got the speed to double this Maria who hits uh, 45 speed. And here she's going to be having the panic Together. effect on us. But we can just uh, take her out with Iceberg. So that's why doubling her is so important the first time. So that you could trigger your Iceberg and just take her out. And you can just heal up the HP. Okay. You want to have your Xander over here and then attack this Green Thief with your Camilla to do a lot of damage. And now you can use your air and just break this obstacle over here. Yes. And then you want to use Dance on your Xander. And you want to actually take out this Green Thief and get the Dancer's Veil item which is going to be proving to be useful later on. And you just want to attack this uh, Red Thief and lunge him. 
and this allows Xander to get extra movement. Here, Merrick is gonna be leaving Xander with 3 HP. Here also super easily survives Fallen Tiki. By super easily, I mean by 1 HP. So, Tiki is gonna be doing a lot of damage, but that is completely fine. So now you wanna do okay. is uh, just go over here on this escape tile. Have your Xander over here, and then teleport with your Azura with Wings of Mercy right beside Xander on the right side. And just uh, have go. him block the path of this guy. Now, America's got 44 speed and interval 20. So, my Azira hits 40 speed. Her Book of Shadows and Speed Res Bond isn't really useful over here, so that's why I don't really have it. You could run other skills if you want to improvise. So, this allows her to survive. And uh, you want to teleport with your Camilla as well. And do quite a bit of damage to this Blue Thief as well with that. And just escape with the uh, air because we don't want to die to Fallen Tiki. Thank God Fallen Tiki doesn't get extra movement with Solitary Dream. That is a big help. <laughs> Honestly. To the hot spring. And now you want to take out this blue thief actually. And uh, now that we have got the dancer's veil item, this is going to be really good for us because we could just use this. <sighs> have Camilla do this damage to this red thief. And then use Azira to teleport over here to dance to Camilla. How's the water? And just take out that thief over there. And that's easily done. So you want to have your thief over here. Uh, not thief. Xander. Xander is not a thief. I'm sorry, Xander. And you want to move your ear on this side so that she can go ahead and attack this uh, red thief. Who does have lightning charm. Which is actually pretty helpful. Yes. So you want to go over here, attack this guy. And then you want to just okay. uh, attack this guy and uh, do quite a bit of damage. And eventually just take him Together. out. With Xander. Let's go. So Silver Sword Xander in 2020 doing a lot of work as you could clearly see. Our other units are just gonna be staying over here. Uh, we just have to wait one more turn actually, and then we're gonna be able to destroy these thieves. So now this red thief and this blue thief are gonna be close to each other. So you wanna yes, go ahead and take out this red thief with your ear. Have the defense uh, debuff on this guy and also get the lightning charm. So you want to use a uh, lightning charm over here, and you also want to use a uh, special blade over here. And that is going to be it. Hmm. So we can go ahead and attack this guy, and Xander is going to be able to take him out. And that is going to be your solution for this week's Resonant Battles. The battle does end once you take out all of the thieves, and uh, yeah, Silver Sword Xander can definitely do this. Let's see if it has changed or not. Nope, we're still going down. Weird things have happened to me before where we were going down and then at the end of the week we were staying in that tier. Uh, so, you know, just make sure to check the comments. I cannot stress that enough before you do the solution. And uh, make sure to share this video with your friends who want to get uh, higher intervals to get the Ivy Mangoes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank all of my team members for their support. It really means a lot. And if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as a peony getting hit by a scalibur of this inflated Merrick. So that's it, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.